So Lee Dixon, we're, we're used to you either in football kit or these days sitting on the match of the day two sofa. Mm. But today... I'm leaning against the speaker. You're in Lycra, somewhere in Italy, looking a little bit tired. Are we still in Italy? Why? What's going on? <coughs> well, <coughs> Lawrence, sorry, I got a cough overnight. Lawrence Delalio is a really good friend of mine and two years ago he got me involved in the Cycle Slam which was uh, all the five nations, six nations venues for the rugby. Cycling round, don't go any cycling, he decided that that would be a good idea so I helped him out with that one and then I said if you do another one I really want to do the whole lot. Here I am now and I'm now wishing I hadn't done the whole lot because it's brutal. But we're having a lot of fun, we're raising a huge amount of money for charity. And, uh, and I'm trying to keep myself fit, so although I feel a bit of the weather today, I've got a bit of sore throat. We had a monster day yesterday. Uh, it just went on forever, and some of the lads got back at 9 o'clock, been on the road for 14 hours, so thankfully I got back a bit earlier than that. So that's what I'm doing here. Well, we assume that you're fit anyway, being, being a former footballer, but um, I mean, it's one thing being fit, it's another thing doing what you're doing here. Now, were you a cyclist before? Were you into cycling? No, I think you'd probably find that. Um, footballers tend to stay away from the bike because normally the bike is associated with being injured. Um, so the first thing the physios put you on when you've got an injury is on the static bike in a gym. So I never really liked that side of the game, stayed away from it and uh, retired eight years and I hadn't done anything. And uh, then Lawrence two years ago got me into it and uh, it's changed my life to be honest with you. It really has. I'm, I'm a lot fitter now. I've got a really bad knee, I can't run, so the only type of exercise I can do is, is to pedal a, a push bike, so to speak. And I'm, I'm so much so, I'm, I'm joining Graham Rousseau on a tandem today, you'll, I'll have you know, both wearing each other's football shirts. You're wearing a Chelsea shirt, aren't you? I'm wearing a Chelsea shirt, all in the aid of charity. Things you've got to do. So you are genuinely hooked now on cycling? Yeah, pretty much. I, go, I tend to um, try and fit my... my weekly schedule around going out on my bike a couple of times a week. I've been training quite a bit for this, but I don't think anything prepares you for the amount of um, cycling you do with the amount of hours on the, on the saddle. It is it's, it's pretty relentless. The guys are coming in, uh, the, the people who are coming in and paying to, to, to charity to go on these five-day um, excursions, then go home after five days, and obviously the core riders, like me and Graham, sort of stay and then have a big smiley face for the next lot to come in. But inside, we're in deep pain. Yeah. But uh, as I said, it's for a brilliant cause and we're raising, hopefully, um, a lot of money for charity. It's supposed to be a, an, an individual sport cycling, but it's, there's a lot of camaraderie here. I, I came in yesterday, uh, saw everybody coming in after the, the, the leg from hell. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, there's a, a lot of respect whether you did it in four hours or 14 hours. Well, we made a point that there was, a, there was one team out, as I said, who, who'd been out there for 14 hours. Um, we'd been back, uh, they came in at nine o'clock, quarter past nine. We'd been back since quarter to five. So four and a bit, four and a half hours later, they came in. And uh, they got the biggest cheer of the day. You know, we all came out for dinner. Um, and stood on the roadside and clapped them all in. And it's quite an emotional. There was a few tears in the bar. People, you know, reaching new levels of achievement that they've, they've never got to, to before, and in, in that team environment. But I mean, you've had to dig deep in your time as, as a professional footballer. Um, yesterday was as hard as anything you've known. Certainly, my hardest day on a bike. Um, and it's cycling is different because you're out there for so long. And, uh, there was a few hills yesterday that really tested me. And well, that's the importance of the team ethic, you know, to try and um, put yourself in a position where you can help other people out. And um, I think that really came to the fore yesterday because there was a lot of, a lot of tough climbs to do. And, uh, and then when you just thought you were, you were at home, we had a six kilometre climb to get, into, to get into the town, which didn't go down too well. But, you know, you stick together, you grow. there was lots of little groups pushing each other. I don't think many people were on their own yesterday at the finish. They might have been enjoying the ride when you get left behind or whatever. But um, everybody got back safe and sound, which was the main thing. I was going through your career last night, and obviously it was long and successful. Um, I want to ask the question, does it seem as if it, it went in five minutes? You'll probably think, not, not all the injuries and, and all the effort, but I remember you playing for Stoke. Um, and that's like a lifetime away, and it's just here we are. It's, it's gone. It's finished. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> really depressed, though. <laughs> no, it's, it, it does go quickly. And the thing is with it is that 
think that's the biggest um, piece of information that players like myself and Graham and so and um, Freddie and Lawrence to their respective um, youngsters who are in the game is to say that you don't, you really have to grab every moment, you know, because you could, it could be over at any minute with an injury um, or just you know lack of form and you don't get a new contract. So you've really got to grab every single moment. I think that's the important bit of information I would give to kids playing the game who've got to a level where they're, they're being paid to play the, you know, be a be a be a hero if you like and, and play the play professional sport. And when you look back in your career, put it this way: if if it had been offered to you at the start, I would imagine you would have bitten every hand made available to you. England, uh, premierships, cup. I mean, you won pretty much everything with yeah. the best team in the country at the time. You'll, you'll take that, won't you? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, when I was signed pro at Burnley when I was 18, you know, just to, just to be a professional footballer was, you know, that was good enough for me. And I used to go around asking people what they did for a living. So they'd ask me and I'd just go, yeah, I'm a professional footballer. So it was a very proud moment for me and, uh, and something that I tried to carry through my career and be proud to put whatever shirt on. Although I'm wearing a Chelsea shirt today, with my name on the back, it doesn't feel quite right, but I'll no. wear it with pride because it's no. uh, it's for a good cause. And you're a Man City supporter, yeah. but obviously I guess you played for a few teams, but Arsenal is the team you're most associated with, so I don't know, mixed emotions? Um... Well, I mean, everybody asks me that. I am a City fan as a, as a kid, but uh, you can't play for a team for 15 years and not have a, a special affiliation with them. I know all the people at Arsenal, I don't know anybody in City, apart from Patrick Vieira. Um, oh, David Platt, and I've quite a few actually. <laughs> um, but I, I kind of my, my my main affiliation is with, with Arsenal now. But it would give me great pleasure for, for Man City to obviously win the league. I did pick them at the start of the season yeah. to win the league. Um, That's why you get the big bucks, you see. Well, no, I actually tipped Man United to win it. But oh, okay. My my, my supporter head. Um, went for City, so if City were to win the league, I think I, I'm due a little bit of money back from the bookmakers. And the thing about you as well, slightly oddly, is that uh, for all your individual achievements, you're also really well associated with um, a back four, which will just remain indelibly linked with Arsenal history. Yeah, I'm incredibly lucky to play for a big team like Arsenal, but also to, to be a member of a team within a team almost was very special to me. I know the rest of the lads, well I hope the rest of the lads feel the same way, but we had a very special bond um, and, and it, was a, it was a special bond on the pitch rather than uh, you know, off it as much. We, you know, we, we hung out together now and again, but we weren't you know, in each other's pockets having dinner with each other every night. It was kind of a bond that was formed on the training pitch and we took that out onto the, onto the, onto the pitch on Saturday and it, and it proved pretty successful. And I'm very proud to be a, a member of that. Well, Lee, uh, the road is not finished for you, my friend. A long, long way to go. Well yeah. done so far. Thank you. Keep it up and, uh, and we'll keep tabs on you. My pleasure. Cheers. Cheers.